Hello everyone, Jean is here and as usual in this video I'll share with you results of my trading for actually May for the whole month because it's finished now it is June actually summer so uh, and um, uh, the month of May was a really good month for me and uh, my profit as you can see guys uh, is uh, slightly more than $150,000 okay so it's um, a really good result and I'm sharing it uh, with you through FX Blue independent side and now I want to show you as usual my uh, telegram channel which is official uh, only one on in telegram which is Jana FX as you can see guys and of course the links you can find in the description under this video and this is all my um, the levels the orders pending orders I have been sending and sharing with you guys um, for quite a while actually you know last time in my video i said i have been doing it for a year or six months but uh, i have been sharing with you pretty much uh, most all of my trades the pending orders but if you actually check out my telegram channel i have been sending my orders more than a year it's uh, incredible as you can see guys i'm still using the strategies as you can see guys it's in 2023 i have been sending and uh, on and on and on so you see i've been doing it for a very long long time i mean uh, sending these signals uh, and it's absolutely free and you can join and uh, you know it's like 2022 just wanted to show you guys you see how long i have been sending all results in 21 but the most uh, of course the most um my trading um charts i have been sharing with you guys probably yes the last year as you can see and um, it's been really really good profitable and i have really good response and i'm very glad that uh, my videos and my um, trading strategy helps quite a lot of people but i have to warn you once again guys okay i want to warn you i know it's it's been quite successful but you know in forex anything can happen okay so that's why i always say please use the lowest load size if you're following and using the recovery system my recovery system I just want to repeat if you're watching first time some of you are not very familiar and just like want to copy it anyway but if you will see I have quite big lot sizes now I have a big account okay bigger lot sizes I also use my recovery system in my recovery system my like uh, order size limit is huge okay please don't use the same you have to decide yourself what you want to use okay you really I mean you can rent the EA it's not very expensive it's very little money you can rent it you can try on demo account try all the different settings see which best suits you okay because you cannot copy exactly the same settings as i do guys okay because i have a completely different size account so but um as you can see you've been seeing uh the um the strategy works but we are going now into the summer months and warning again summer is always very risky because we will have a bit more consolidations like this week i didn't have a big um, profit it was a smaller profit still profitable week it still closed out uh, very well no floating nothing uh, uh, but we had um, i had one of the trades and i have uh, been recovering it for a few i think it was for a few days maybe uh, a day or something right so usually the recovery would close out with profit in few minutes or hours but this week it was a little bit longer so there were a few attempts to recover one trade so that's why i keep telling you guys please bear in mind summer months anything can happen uh use money management risk management okay and any profits or losses you make it's all up to you it's all your responsibility because i'm only sharing with you what i'm doing for informative purposes okay guys so i'm just keep warning you so be warned and be careful like i'm saying you've seen all my um all my trades i have been sending through the years and everything was closed out with profits but like i'm saying you never know you never know so you have to be prepared for anything that's why I use the lowest lot as possible okay now after i've warned you all we are going back to the chart so that's the the point is you see guys like i'm saying the strategy i use doesn't really matter i mean um, yes i do have another strategy in combining that's why i have bigger uh results uh but um the other strategy is scalping and it's a uh, it's like one minute five minute chart 
and I am uh, I would probably make some videos but we will see at this moment I'm still uh, kind of like testing it okay it's a new strategy for me I have been using it for a few months and it's giving me great results uh, but the main strategy is still my painting orders okay and um, yes and this painting orders that's what I have been sharing okay I've been sharing with um, uh, all of you guys and um, it doesn't matter which way the market moves right the problem is when it's consolidation and if I will catch the losing trade because I mean you can't have 100% winning trades okay sometimes yes that's possible to have one losing trade which basically sometimes you can just take a loss and not recover it if you have already profitable uh, a week or something like it goes at the end of the week you see like the it was like I think the the last trade is like the whole week was profitable and one trade I think it was actually on like Thursday or something end of the week um maybe friday maybe it's close out actually uh, in one day but it just took few attempts because in the same day it can take few attempts before it's closing the the loss yeah so that's why um the important thing is the big moves we need but during the summer times the moves could be not as big and the consolidations could be very um quite long and uh, very narrow okay and that's why uh it could hit the stop loss few times before it recovers because every time it uh, it places the new order the ea automatically it calculates right it calculates and adding more and more but it increases the load size okay that's important you need to understand this thing so because it uses kind of like averaging and martingale at the same time so you need to be really careful of it so um yeah and that's why i need those levels for example sometimes when when the, the trade is in the recovery uh, I see if it's not going to like reach or oh, it's already got to my level and I see it's going to reverse or something, I would rather just to close with a small loss, okay? With a small loss, I would just take it and done because yes, it might not uh, continue the recovery uh, to the point. And then, I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, it would recover, but it might take, like I'm saying, longer and a bigger load size it could be, like bigger drawdown on the account. So sometimes I'm just thinking, well, I don't want it, okay? Because, you know, it's easier just to take a bit of a loss and walk away with whatever profit you make because I never have a specific target. And I suggest do not have a specific target because chasing the target, that's the worst thing that could be in trading, okay? And, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing this uh, technical overview just to see where to expect the, the, the price moving and what we can, can do, right, use in uh, the trading. So this is the week. As you can see, guys, that's the, the week was not um, much movements. It, it was uh, okay, but not as strong as, like, previous weeks. We had, like, huge drop, huge jump up, up, up. But look, what do we have from, from this, analyzing the, what happened uh, from the previous move we have similarity look how similar that move to this move and that's why uh, looking in, in here we might predict that the next week could actually end up similar to the previous week not previous week I mean like the week was um, previous okay let's see I'll explain here look we had a drop and previously we also had a drop then we had a correction we had a correction then it was another drop and we also had another drop. I mean, as you can see, it's a little bit narrower than the previous, but it's very similar. Then we had a bit of a jump up and we had the same jump up. Then we had a drop again and we also had a drop again. So look, look at this, how, how similar it is, right? That's why, for example, uh, at this moment, looking at similarity of those two, my one number one scenario would be similar to this week. I would be looking and possible expecting that here, this week we also going to go up okay not continue to fall even though it does look like we are in a bearish uh, move um possibly turning around but at the same time if we will have similar movements then we might have we'll see uh, this week going up so i i'm looking into a bit of bullish movement this week and now i'm going to explain so we do have geopolitical situation in the world pretty much hasn't changed since then right so it was the the previous exactly and now is exactly nothing has changed i mean they're talking about ceasefire between gaza and israel but israel looks like it wants to just finish its job so it does look like they don't want to uh to stop uh, anything at this point okay so that's that's what gives me okay from this uh point of view we still have potential of gold 
continue to go up with the more economical news are going to be this week so yes uh, it might change the picture uh, we will see but let's say forget about it for now we do know about um, fed decision the rate decision at this moment it's like market has already accepted it so nothing else then looking at the technical picture now that's it just the technical right and that's exactly what I, i'm looking at now possible this scenario of that pre uh, previous uh, similarity of one of the weeks okay and we do have here bottom and we had two bottoms right last time and the third one took the previous and reversed and we have the same the previous two uh, bottom uh, took the other two and the market closed um above one of these levels so look guys i draw this level a little bit higher basically previously i had it a bit lower using the uh, tops the the pin of the previous top and another top right so that means that the market was expected to go uh, down to 23 or 3 roughly that's what everybody was also talking about and uh, yeah i mean it still can happen okay it still might happen but we know that the big guys they also know that and you all know they always want to um fool everyone okay so that's what we know they they what they're trying to do fool and that's why we're trying to see where they can fool us what we can do about it because we want really to trade with those big guys okay to get with them so basically they might be saying uh -huh, everyone waiting for 23 or 3 but we decided to stop a little bit earlier and at the same time as you can see that actually uh maybe yes it, it could be is that big uptrend channel we might be in a big uptrend channel using this uh the bodies of this previous top and then we would have a pretty much uh, that's where the market stopped on friday it didn't continue the drop i'm sure everybody was expecting it to fall 23 or 3 but it didn't it stopped higher right so that's possible here we're touching all the stops okay let's say that's the the point also at the same time look at this uh, another downtrend channel i draw here using those also the same tops tops and tops and those uh, the bottom and here bottom and another one and another one and we created another one so we are respecting this little channel also uh, at the same time that other level the bigger one right the orange one uh, that's why i was saying if we might stay here the last week the previous uh, my analysis then expectation was if we are staying and would try to break up then i would see it look possible uh, creation of the pennant okay so looks like at this moment no but i'm not going to move it, it might help us in uh, next week movements we will see if it will be respecting it and staying behind or above it the price i mean okay so what um, what we're looking at right now so we looks like we are behind underneath that level and the market actually look created the pin trying to touch it and actually where's the price the 2360 remember i was telling you about it in my previous videos the 2360 is quite important because we had here quite uh, a bit of uh, important area and i was expecting the battlefield around 2360 uh we did break uh, on the way down like last time also it didn't respect it it just fall felt and it's exactly the same uh again but trying to climb it back it takes a little bit harder yeah but we already had few attempts we had one closer second one actually breaking it and uh, the third one just giving us the pin i mean okay it's rejecting it at this moment yes it's kind of trying to show us no we don't want to go high just trying to um continue stay underneath and trying to go further that's they trying to show us but it could be fake but we don't know but let's say it was fake and here uh, as we are kind of respecting uh, creating this double triple bottom which shows us a possible reverse we're respecting one of the levels we're respecting other levels so basically in here we might uh, see a possible going up here's another area 2340 we were fighting around this area the whole i think um, friday uh, thursday and friday i think that's where i had one of the losing trades here which was uh, took a bit of recovery and um here I think if we will start it with the opening market of course we will see if we will continue to fall or we'll be trying to go through that area just look looking at possibility like we had here right that week so it, you see with the opening the week it jumped up so let's say if the opening the week we will jump up but where will we break 2340 area uh, or we will we not let's say first scenario we are breaking out that area and staying in here right then we see from the other week we had a little bit of um falling and then we, we had a bit of consolidation so basically we could possibly break 
and stay in this area, right? We don't have to go exactly the same way. We had, we've seen that this one is a little bit smaller than previous uh, time. It was, so that's why we might go and sit around here. I mean, okay, we might go up, then try to go down, but respect that level, okay? Respect that level, not breaking it. But let's say something in this area, like we're staying uh, slightly above, then or falling down and consolidating around the area plus minus maybe in this area between those levels like the uh, 2340 playing 2336 7 something right and then we will have a, this this big jump possible uh which again it could be like up to until friday when we'll have those big news uh i don't know if there is any any other news because we usually have the friday's most important non-farm right so uh and then continue to go up right just like it was that previous but then breaking through 2360 and then we will see how strong this level is going to be are we going to break it uh or we're going to stay below it so possibly we will break it and stay uh a, a bit higher maybe even like stronger movement uh who knows goes to 2390 something around this area and then um to go for a bit of a correction like we had here i mean this if we would look the the whole movement uh last time you see it was uh 280 pips then we had huge move of about 700 pips or 7000 points so basically if from here we go 20 uh, 200 something we are still staying inside this channel and then next one if it would be 700 so basically, you see, guys, it does look like around 2390 something. That's area, or maybe even higher. See, even uh, to 200 uh, to 400. Okay, so that could be uh, the the move from like the previous time. It was total, yeah, 700 something. And if we will see from here, 700 something does show us a little bit of 200 uh, to 400 okay to 400 so next week it could possibly be but again looking at that was a bit um bigger movements the that week isn't it it was like 600 of the correction i'm not sure if we have 600 of this correction you see it's a bit half we have 400 that's why for example compared to that area of possible this could be a bit smaller move right not exactly as big as this was but we might that's why we are going to see if we are going to go 2390 something is this level going to be respected are we going to jump above it or we're going to stay below it and then we will see um possibly if we will be staying below that level then we might see a going back down obviously you can also use a um, fibonacci level so plus minus let's say the previous bottom and we do have c61 is around 2400 and also 50 is quite important is around 2390 you see that's why this area is going to be quite crucial okay if we will get um, there so that's my number uh that's my first uh scenario for gold uh, looking at possible going up so of course if we are going to open the market going down then of course 23 or 3 just everybody expects but i think we will break that go a little bit lower uh just to again uh, fool everyone they will be showing that lots of people might would want to buy here place lots of stops they're going to collect all the stops and people think oh, okay we are breaking out they're going to sell placing lots of stops so they might go lower to 22 70 something 77 uh, or maybe even higher taking those pins or maybe lower and then reversing sharply okay so i'm not excluding that possible scenario of taking all of this area and then reversing sharply sharply and then we will see again when i will be moving the levels of my uptrend channel and then we will see if the price is going to go uh where which uh above 2303 below 2303 first and then any of those other levels okay then i'm going to look at it um, after after that so um yeah basically my uh, view if we're not breaking out those areas like 2390 like 80 could be here fibonacci 50 first right area then possibly from here that i would consider double uh, triple uh, tops and then we would be going lower to all of those other levels and then we will see what happens from there okay but if we are breaking out and going high then i would presume we will be taking uh the previous highs and uh, sitting in this uh, channel possibly in this channel where if it's going higher then we will be going back down again and then um, who knows uh, maybe triple tops 
and then maybe after that it would say it had enough and then maybe we will have some uh, geopolitical situation improvements who knows right we don't know so but that's kind of you at this moment for this coming week the possible scenario of similarity of that other week we had very similar uh, as uh, the other uh, the weeks here and here that's why i'm looking at this as a number one uh, possible scenario so we will see and uh, that's it for now guys if you like the video of course don't forget to like subscribe uh, happy trading everyone and i'll uh, talk to you next time bye everyone